so different. I've unboxed so many smartphones over the years, and this is... What? It's so thin and different. That is bananas. Well, this is a day. Wow. It's a day today. It's an interesting, it's an important day because in front of me, I have a device that I've been really excited for. I've wanted to check this thing out for a very long time. It's a new form factor. It's a new take. It's hard to even call it a phone. It is a phone. It'll make phone calls, but it's it's really a new thing. It is the Surface Duo from Microsoft inside of this nondescript package. And uh, and it's a it's an early look, by the way. So I'm not sure about the software and everything like that. I'm gonna uh, obviously dive into it over the next couple of days, possibly the next week, something like that. But for now, it's an unboxing video. Let's get into it. Let's do the thing and have the initial reaction to the Surface Duo. It's a white box inside of a white box. This is kind of cool. Ooh! All right, a little attention to detail. This is obviously not a retail package, I would assume. This is a sort of, some sort of a reviewer kit, but still, some attention there. We've got the windows, we've got the Microsoft logo. We've also got some mountains, a little, uh, uh, is that a sunrise or a sunset? sunrise anyway it's a kind of nice look you flip it up introducing surface duo there's a new way to get things done all right so this is where they're going to break down how you're going to use this by, by the way me saying i don't think this thing is a phone is actually a positive because we have so many phones from different manufacturers yes you have single screen mode so you can make phone calls but i don't know about you guys on my mobile device I'm, I'm making fewer and fewer phone calls and doing a lot of everything else. Hello? Is your phone a phone? When's the last time it was a phone? Well, maybe it's more of a phone to you than it is to me, but these other modes here, that's kind of more what I'm doing with my smartphone as it stands right now. So the smartphone form factor is actually secondary to, oh, let's say the compose mode. You can see this person is typing a message and they have tons of real, real estate because they have two displays. You have the book mode, two things happening at the same time. Multitasking could be fun on any pocketable device. We've seen the various fold folding devices that are out there. This is a different take, different hardware, no crease in the display because you have two separate displays with a hinge, kind of like a laptop. You have a tent mode for uh, setting the thing on the table. You know the what I like to call the breakfast cereal mode. You eat, eat your cinnamon toast crunch and you're watching your content. It's likely unbox therapy or something like that. And then there's a peak mode as well. That looks like you can kind of just catch a quick glance at the side of the display when it's partially open. What does this little note say? Oh, wow. We are excited to have you join us as one of the first to try Surface Duo. As a team, we have always challenged the convention of existing device categories in pursuit of empowering people to be more productive. Surface Duo is the next step on that journey. So we have it in front of us now and I will be taking that journey. That is Microsoft's journey. It becomes my journey. Very curious to test this. So here is the main product. That's the Surface Duo. And then next to it, they also included some Microsoft Surface earbuds, one of the first 50 devices directly from Microsoft to you. That's very exciting. Thank you, Microsoft, for this exclusive opportunity. That is a serious box. I, you know, I appreciate a nice box. So, first off, let's, uh, let's kick it off with the Duo packaging. This does look like the retail packaging, Microsoft Surface Duo. We look at the back. Power supply bumper, so there's a case inside of here. Support for LTE Advanced Pro, Wi-Fi 802.11ac, Bluetooth 5, and Android 10 installed. That's the big move. The Android logo on a Microsoft product. It is happening. This is the Surface Duo with Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. They didn't want to tell you which Snapdragon processor because it isn't the latest, it isn't the 865, but again, that's not necessarily the most important component about this device. It's more about the sort of overall package and the big shift in form factor as opposed to necessarily spec chasing. That said, this does have a price tag commensurate with a high spec device. 256 gigs of storage, six gigs of RAM, and this is Glacier, the color. 
So I'm going to pull this tab over here. Very nice. Woo! Oh, this is so unusual. This is so different. I've unboxed so many smartphones over the years, and this is, wow, it's so thin and different. Okay, it's obviously wider than most smartphones out there right now, but they kind of make up for it with the thinness and definitely the thinness of each side, each individual side. Let me put this down for just a quick moment here. And we'll look at the other items inside the package. Surface Duo bumper, specifically designed to protect your device. Okay. I was curious about this. How would this work? How would you protect it? And so it looks like it's a two-piece thing. This one side over here, you can see you have your button mapping for your power switch, what looks like your volume rocker. And I believe there's an adhesive in here as well so it can stick to the device and actually stay on since it doesn't grip all the way around. It's kind of nice that they included something. Of course, there will probably eventually be aftermarket options for this as well, but you have a rubberized grip included. They're calling it the bumper. Attach each bumper, peel the label to remove the adhesive strip, and there you go. Pretty straightforward stuff. Also in the package, we have our paperwork and SIM tool. Yes, it's a phone. Hello. I know it's kind of like a, looks like a mini laptop notebook thing. It is also a phone. Of course, you can make phone calls, receive text messages, and so on. We've also got a USB cable in the package, fairly lengthy USB C to C cable. And I presume this is going to be the power brick. And yes, it is. This is a pretty cool little flip down prong power brick. And this is 18 watt capable. That actually is a perfect moment to talk about today's sponsor as well, who happens to be Electjet. They make a 65 watt portable charger. You guys know I'm super interested in high powered chargers that aren't massive. Because of GAN technology, this USB-C PD charger delivers 65 watts of power, but it's 45% smaller than a similar device not using GAN technology. And what's cool about this one is it's cheaper than these things have been in the past. This is $39.99 on Amazon. You can check the link in the description. And you can use multiple ports at the same time and split that 65 watts across multiple devices. So whether it's a laptop, tablet, smartphone or otherwise and you'll see it's not even that big so this is the size of the brick and it's got a kind of a nice matte finish on the outside you have your c1 usb c1 port c2 and the usb a port for a maximum of 65 watts so capable of powering plenty of notebooks in 2020 the prongs flip down i've talked about this before always on the hunt for the ultimate charger well here you have what could be your ultimate charger, but at a lower price than I've paid in the past. These 65 watt GAN chargers, comparable ones, have been upwards of 60 or 70 bucks. I have not seen one at 39, which makes this one far more attractive. Why don't we just give it a quick test on my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Pull some power over here, bang, bang, and bingo. Super fast charging, 25%, 59 minutes until full. So that's maximum charge capacity regardless of your device. In most cases, you may have a laptop requiring more than 65 watts, so keep that in mind. But portability to power ratio, pretty amazing. Electjet, check them out. Okay, so here is the Duo now. I will remove the plastic wrapper. Ah, so it's kind of a glossy glass in this white color. They're calling it Glacier. It almost has a grayishness to it, which I like. Peel this out from the middle. Oh, this is much different. This is so unusual. It is like a mini pocket laptop, sort of. You know, Microsoft's been thinking about this thing for a long time because as I referenced when talking to Will on the Lou Later show, when, when this thing was first announced, I had uh, recalled when they were sharing that Microsoft courier stuff 
the idea, the concept a long time ago. You know, the person sitting on the, on the subway with a device like this. Think about the notebook. You know what I'm talking like the moleskin notebook. It's a thing that humans have carried around forever. The idea that you could do work like this, that you could read like this. Is this the future of your pocket device? It's honestly, it's kind of possible. I don't know for certain because there is an extra step involved. With a typical modern smartphone, you're right on the display at all times. This one, you gotta open it up. Now, do some people just insert it in their pocket open so that they have quick access when they come back to it? Maybe, maybe they do. But I don't really mind closing it, opening it. It's kind of fun. This hinge is very robust, by the way. Microsoft has uh, probably learned a lot from their various Surface products in the laptop department and of course the tablet convertible type of uh, department. And then they bring that hardware expertise into something that runs Android on mobile. This is where you truly appreciate the thinness. That is bananas. It is way thinner than a smartphone. Here, comparatively, again, we have a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and you can hopefully sort of appreciate the difference there. Now, I understand it's unfolded at this moment, but when you're holding it, it kind of shocks you how thin it is in the open format. When it's closed up, let's do another comparison. It's kind of similar actually to the Note 20 Ultra when it's closed up. So we can definitely do a pocket test at this moment. These are typical, that's a typical short. That's a typical male, that's a men's, that's a man's short. It's just one short. That's right, not shorts. That's a man short. And uh, you know what? It's not, a, it's nothing. I don't notice it any differently. It actually might be lighter than my Note 20 Ultra, is it? Do I need to do a... Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's totally manageable. It's not a, maybe you've got the tight pants. I don't know what you do. Maybe you have the tight pants, but for me, I could swap that in, I could sub that in. Totally manageable. All right, let's look around the outside of the device. Over here, right on the side, we have our Type-C connector. Let me grab that Type-C cable real quick, just to show you how that connects. Pretty straightforward stuff. Bang, that's it. That's your connection point to the device. As we move around to this side, that's gonna be your fingerprint scanner. Right there, your thumb scanner, essentially on the side of the device. Power switch, volume rocker, and then the SIM card tray as well. This thing feels amazing. Really cool. This thing feels so premium. I have no idea why. It's hard for me to pinpoint exactly why this feels more premium than many of the smartphones I interact with. Maybe it's the friction on the hinge that you just don't expect on something that looks so fragile. It does not feel fragile at all. Now you have tons of glass here. I have no idea what happens if you drop this. You do have the bumper case thing that they included, but it's the open and close, I think, all the way around. Now you're in phone mode, you answer the phone call, you flip it back. Of course, we have the tent mode. Like I said, the breakfast cereal mode. I'm over here, I'm watching or reading. Uh, I mean, landscape, portrait. I just accidentally turned it on. There's a rule, you can't turn it on! Oh, goodness gracious. All right, let's, there we go. As far as the displays are concerned, I can tell you without turning it on because I'm not supposed to yet, it's supposed to be just an unboxing video. I can tell you there is a forehead and a chin. I mean, you've probably seen this in the images that are out there in the world. You have an earpiece over here, front facing camera and a flash over there as well. So maybe that's what it is, Kirk. The fact that there's no enormous camera hump or lump on the thing anywhere. It feels so minimal and futuristic without an enormous, I mean, look at this, right? This is what we've all gotten used to in 2020, these huge camera humps and you place it on the table and you get a wobble and it's okay because these cameras are amazing and I don't fully expect the Surface Duo camera to be on par with the other flagships. Again, not totally the angle. I think this is a productivity device, a device for uh, consumption, possibly uh, watching video, typing a lot, connecting a headset to for various, for your conferencing and all the rest of it. It's, it's, can it replace a tablet or a laptop? 
I think it can definitely replace your tablet. I think it's it's targeting to be a tablet and a phone in one. And much like when we first got a number of new form factors, whether it was the original scaling of phones or the folding phones or or even when the Surface product started to connect a keyboard to a thing that was a tablet and blur the line between what a laptop and a tablet is, I feel like this is kind of doing the same thing, but in phones, inside the smartphone range. And instead this time merging the tablet and the phone and still kind of ending up somewhere in laptop territory, somewhere in mini laptop territory, which is kind of wild. So. I just love the imagination here. I love the fact that you don't go for the status quo. There's no reason why Microsoft couldn't have just made a, a Microsoft Surface Android phone to compete with all the other phones. Sure, they could have done that. But instead, they go to the drawing board for real and get the imagination going. And well, it works on me because I'm excited to try something that's a completely unique and a completely new form factor. As mentioned, I cannot turn on this device in this video. I have to use it for a bit and then come back to you. That's Microsoft's restriction, not mine. It's just super early. As you saw in the package, this is one of 50, but I am pumped up. Willie Do is pumped up. Kirk is pumped up. Unbox Therapy is pumped up because we look at a lot of smartphones and it's cool to get your hands on something that can't really be described in the exact same fashion, but is truly a new take, a new formula, and it doesn't happen every day.